Just because I have extra bags, I've just gone through four hours of ungrueling scrutiny. Disrespectful, disrespectful, disrespectful. At Auckland Airport, a passenger from the United States wants to enter New Zealand on a one-month visitor's visa. But the man has eight suitcases totaling 120 kilos, almost four times the usual allowance. That's $700 worth of excess baggage. Customs has carried out a personal search and a baggage search, and now the case has been handed over to Immigration Officer Susanna. We need to interview him for bona fides. He's coming for a visit of one month, and this is his luggage, which is demonstrated on these three customs search tables. Uh, some of it's been packed away as well. Once you've packed them all up, what will happen is customs will bring you through to our interview room, and then I'll interview you just to discuss the reasons you've come to New Zealand, right. and we'll make a decision as to whether or not you'll be allowed entry to New Zealand today. That's his flight from New York. Okay. As the case is handed over, Susanna is briefed by her customs colleague. But the passenger isn't happy about being singled out. Disappointed and appalled at the way in which they've treated me. Why, why? Because when I, went, when I called Washington, D.C., I followed all the regulations. I came here just because I have extra bags. I've just gone through four hours of ungrueling scrutiny. Disrespectful, disrespectful, disrespectful. Both Customs and Immigration suspect the man is planning to stay longer than a month. Very concerned as to what his bona fide reasons are for coming to New Zealand. Okay. Well, he's looking doubtful at this stage. Where's he just come from? What, what's New York. New York. And what was trust it? me, I will be calling the U.S. Embassy. And why, why, why did you come to New Zealand? What was um, the reason for? Business prospects. The man claims to have lined up interviews with several Auckland companies. Okay, no, that's fantastic. But Susanna's been ringing around to check. Okay, bye. Okay, so that's, that's, that's all of the people now covered off the that team. he said have um, arranged interviews for him, for him. Nobody has any interviews arranged for him. Um, this person here is only interested in having a coffee for him, with him. Um, so, yeah, he definitely doesn't have any interviews okay. lined up. What triggered everything was the fact that I had more than one bag. I didn't know I was only allowed to travel with one bag, otherwise I would have. So what do you think they stopped you and like... I have no idea. Black, I don't know. American, bags, too many bags. Could be a number of different reasons. Whatever they were, they were, it was ridiculous. Even if he doesn't stay here, it indicated to me that he'll look somewhere else. If he doesn't like it here, then he'll see where else he can go. He's not intending to go back to the States. He's got 120 kilos oh, worth of luggage. This is the time it is. It's 12.30 and I arrived at quarter to seven. Has this ever happened to you before? Never. Never in my entire life have I ever gone. I've been all over the world several times. You know, and I'm not even an immigration statistic. And I went through this ungrueling and disrespectful uh, treatment. Strip searching. Huh? Customs carried out a personal search to check for illicit substances. And they found something unusual under the man's Panama hat. But quite before he left America, he has hat cut his own hair off with a pair of scissors. It's all in tufts underneath his hat. Did you say why he did that? Uh, no, he just thought, oh, yes he did, sorry. Uh, because people better associate in New Zealand to people with short hair. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, I'm done here. Now they send me over to immigration. But quite frankly, I'm ready to leave the country. I've had enough. Yeah, yeah what a way to go. Wonderful introduction. Wonderful introduction. I mean, With his bags repacked, the man's taken through to immigration for his interview. So what, what exactly are you going to try and find out? Is, is, what his intentions what? are, why he's left, um, where he's come from. Um, just basically do an uh, interview to establish his bona fides if he's actually a genuine visitor to New Zealand. The interview goes ahead behind closed doors and Susanna gets a clearer picture of the passenger's plans. I've spoken to him about his intentions, how long he wants to stay, how long he intends to be here. Um, he'd put down there to come for a visit of one month. 120 kilos of luggage isn't normal for someone who's coming here for a genuine visit for that period of time. Um, he's also said that he's here because he has a number of interviews set up with a number of agencies for jobs. Um, I've phoned every person that he's given me the name for. There's no interview set up for him. 
because now, now it's all packed in. And the fact the man's looking for work and that he's brought so many bags okay. well, suggests he intends to stay in the country for more than a one month visit. So Susanna has little choice. Yeah. Um, hi, yeah. I refused entry to one of your passengers that came off the NZ5 this morning. I haven't been able to get hold of your service desk, so obviously you're busy. Um, is it possible to get him booked back onto the NZ6 going in about 45 minutes? Well, they're deporting me because they don't have, uh, they say I'm an immigration risk. Did and, I explain to them? Well, she explained to me, but it wasn't satisfactory what she explained to me. Mm -hmm. You know, she said that, um, you know, you brought all your belongings and you didn't do your homework properly and I feel if we let you in, you're never going to leave and all that, you know, that crazy stuff, you know? I can't send him because he was refused a permit so he can't actually go through, so we're going to have to check him in. Well, she says to me if I don't get on a flight that she'll have to put me in police custody. I'm not a risk. I'm not a threat. This is crazy. OK. What time's this flight going? It's already bad enough that I'm losing money on my exchange. You know, because like an idiot, I went ahead and changed through $225 today. Thank God I didn't change more than that, because this crummy money isn't worth anything where I'm going. And what do you want me to do with this baggage? Just I will never come to this country again, and I will always let everyone know how horrible this country is. OK, I'll sort out when we get upstairs. OK, wait a second. Thanks. Bye. I don't need to stay here. If they don't want me here, I don't need to stay here. You know? Uh-huh. I don't. So where are you going to go now? Are... I'm going to go back to my own country. Susanna gets him on the next flight to LA. And so the man in the Panama hat departs after a short but memorable stopover in Auckland, New Zealand. At Auckland Airport, MAF Enforcement Officer Tony Davies has been called to an X ray machine to talk to a passenger with undeclared foodstuffs. Okay. Can you spot around the other side, please? <clears throat> Some eggs. Oh, did you read and understand all the questions on the card? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And you put everything in your bag yourself? Yeah. Uh, I packed all this by my own, but I don't know why my father put, put the... I think it's my father. I told him not put the... When did your father have access to this bag? Uh, sorry? When did your father pack this uh, bag? I think if he put it, it's just last night. The thing is, right, if you got this form, it says, did you pack your own bags? And you said yes. Yeah, I asked him is that not correct? for all the food is that from not, my bag. Is that not correct? Is this your signature down here? Yes, it is. But I don't know how to explain. Uh, Try. Uh, I know I can't bring food here. Okay. But uh, I don't know why it's in my bag. I thought he was uh, removed it. What you have to understand is it's your responsibility to check what's in your bags. I'm really sorry about that. Okay, because you've got a signed legal declaration here that says you don't have any of these things in your bags. Yeah. And eggs is quite specifically mentioned in the form. What we're going to do is have a look here, and then we'll have a look through your other bag as well, just to make sure that you haven't forgotten about anything, okay? What kind of eggs are they? It's good. Duck egg? Chicken yep, egg? Yeah, yep, duck egg. Yeah, done. Yep. Cooked duck eggs, direct from mainland China. Eggs from Asia are high-risk items because they could carry avian diseases. Do you think there's anything, that, anything else like this in here? No, I don't think. So you've travelled with this bag yeah, for the last how many hours? 15 or 16. 15 hours, 16. Long, long time. But you've had all this time to check your bag, right? So uh, you need to be a lot more careful with that. Tony wants to make sure the eggs are the only risk items in the passenger's luggage. OK, just come around this way, please. I'm just going to have a look at the rest of the bags. Make sure there's nothing, or the, the big bag. Make sure there's nothing else to see. Um, just come over here, please. Put your blue bag up, please. Come on, trust us, Tony. Thank you. Tony does a thorough search of the woman's other bag, and he soon finds some further items of interest. On your form here, you haven't declared any food at all, and um, this this question down here says, uh, "What's that? Animals, animal products. What's that word? Meat. Meat. That's right. What, what's right on top of this bag here? If I can, you please tell me what this is. What is it? Oh my father! Tell me. I, I told. Tell I told me. him. Please tell me what this is. I I think. I know you. I don't understand. Uh, you don't. 
I understand. Don't you try, try, trust me. But oh, I'm not saying I know that. The meat, the eggs, I know this, but these things I thought I can put in. Because my. I don't. They can't put in. Why is it in the bag with the rest of your food that you've told me that you packed in your bag? I and my father both pack in the bag. Both pack oh, so your bag father packed this one now too? Uh, I thought he just. But, but I thought I, he just packed that one. But, but I'm standing with him. I know what what's in the bag. Did you see him pack this in your bag? No, I I, I know he he bought a lot of snack for me, but I told him not to put the meat in it. Okay, well you, you should have told me that your father packed this as well. Okay, sunflower seeds and pumpkin seeds, fruiting, it's fine. Pistachio nuts, it's fine. Okay, so you, your dad, you're saying your dad put these in here, your father? Uh, I think. He I I actually believe you because that was right on top. However, there is still a problem. What you have to understand is that this is food. It must be declared. Even if you say yes to food and then say I've got I've got anything that you eat, any ingredients that you cook, you put those back in here now. She's going to get it fine. I don't believe there was any intention for her to, um, to sneak this through and like she didn't she said that her dad packed it like after I found it but okay understandable it was packed right on top so I yeah I don't reckon that she was trying to hide it because it wouldn't have been packed on the top of the bag otherwise what's going to happen is that because you failed to declare these things um, and it's in your bag you're going to get a fine. I know what, what can be what can't be. I, I understand. However, you must declare all food every time. So next time, what are you going to do? What are you going to tell your father? I have told him. Oh, he got you in trouble, didn't he? That's all right. It could have been worse. OK. So that's all finished, OK? Just, um, I'm sure you remember for next time. I'm sure we won't have this problem again. There's some information there. <clears throat> I've given you one to send to your parents as well. All right, send this over to them. So it's got pictures and it's in Chinese so they can understand it. And they can't send these in the mail either. Okay. Because um, you'll get in trouble again. So make sure you send that over to them. That's yours. It's all finished, okay? So just please be more careful. Thanks. Fine paid and lesson learned. This passenger is free to go. Bit of an argument to start with, but it didn't look like she was trying to hide or anything. So um, she got her fine. Her father got her into into trouble. So hopefully she'll tell him tell him off, tell him not to stick things like that in her bag again. I'm sure she will. Um, at least she can educate him. Hopefully.